So for me, I think the thing that was very interesting at the share fair is why are we still looking at these very simple labour-saving technologies at the beginning of the 21st century? And for me, I think the, the main reason is because it's actually embedded within gender issues at the household level. So we, look, we saw many examples of fuel-efficient stoves, low-cost and low-cost mechanisation around food processing, post-harvest losses, me methodologies for reducing post-harvest losses, all very cheap, all very affordable in the context of the bigger household expenditure pattern, but still now it's not having that traction, it's still at the bottom of the household shopping list. And I think from our perspective it's because the household dynamics are not working together as a unit, and so the priorities of women are lower down than perhaps some of the priorities of men, or the priorities for earning a living and looking at the productive side, uh, having taken precedence over the basic needs of the household. But in our experience, unless you can release women's time from these very time-consuming tasks of going off to collect water, going off to collect the firewood, tasks which are becoming more onerous in this era of climate change and uncertain weather conditions, it's only when we address these huge labour challenges at the household level that women can then have that space 